Gucci Winnicone. I'm Kayla Wershniak. And I'm Emily Durant. We have a great show for you today to make up for last week's no show. I can't believe all the snow we have. I know, Em. Can you even see over the snowbanks? Nope, but neither can you. Good point. And it definitely won't help with your driving. The scary thing, though, is all this ice. Yeah, but for some people, ice is the best part of winter. And luckily for you, Winnicone, we have a story on some kids that use it to play hockey. What's up, Winnicone? I'm Patrick. And I'm Mike. And for some, winter can be very boring. But for others, they take advantage of the weather conditions. And they play the magnificent sport of pond hockey. We're actually on our way right now to check out what the big deal is. Roll it! Pond hockey is a popular winter activity for all to enjoy. Started in the late 1700s in the UK, the sport was brought to North America and quickly gained popularity. Today, pond hockey is still enjoyed by many. There are even pond hockey tournaments, one of the first and largest being held on Lake Winnipesaukee in our own Granite State. Even around the seacoast, pond hockey games are almost always being played. We went around to some local ponds and caught up with some players to see what the big deal was. There's moments when you can get on the pond, it's like a... Uh... It's an experience. It's what every hockey player dreams of, just the free the freedom out in the ponds, just like skating around with all your friends. You know, hockey players, we're always in a rink and when you get that opportunity to go on the pond, it's just uh, it's a great moment. Me and my friends come out here because we can't skate good enough to be on the team. Uh, it's absolutely freezing, we can't feel our fingers, but we're just having a good time. I started playing pond hockey probably when I was about five years old. Never played on a real team, just out here with my friends and family, and nothing better than it, except for basketball. Unlike regular ice hockey, where there are teams, pond hockey is a pickup game where players of all skill levels can come together, play, and enjoy the fun. Uh, I've been playing pond hockey since about age seven, and I can still remember going around with the little carts, pushing myself around. I play pond hockey because it's fun, you get to be outside with some friends. As you can see, it's a great environment out here. Everyone's having fun, having a blast. It's uh, it's nice every once in a while to get off the ice like, and come out in the ponds. Well, we had a great day out in the pond, and now we're heading back to the studio. I'm Chaz Michael Michaels. And I'm Jimmy McElroy. Skating out. I would not want to be out skating on that freezing ice. Well, would you want to go for a swim? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of Winnicunnet's finest went for a dip on Hampton Beach to raise money for the Special Olympics Foundation. The 7th Annual High School Penguin Plunge was held this past Saturday, January 31st, at the Main Beach. Junior Lindsey Baxter raised nearly $9,000, all of which benefited the Special Olympics New Hampshire. She was one of 592 students from 43 different high schools. She was not the only warrior at this event. 35 ROTC students volunteered their time to set up and break down facilities and assist with crowd control during both days of the plunge. They put in over 200 volunteer hours. 19 students along with Maston Sergeant Polino and Lieutenant Colonel Antonio braved the cold and took the plunge themselves. Collectively, this event was very successful and raised more than $190,000. Great job to everyone who participated. Hey Kayla, did you watch the Super Bowl? No, I'm not really a big football fan. How could you not? I love football. Really? <laughs> oh, Name yeah. five players. Well, there's Tom Brady and Gronkski and Giselle. <laughs> I don't think you know that many players, Em. Well, I do, I swear. I'm, like, biggest fan. Well, luckily, Kyle and Kenny have a story on these other really big fans. <laughs> and whether they're the real deal or not, let's check it out. Kenny, where are you? I thought we were watching the end of the game together. Alright, if you say so. Here we go, baby. Here we go. It's a duck from Wilson. Nice. How did he catch that? No. How did he catch that? Oh, here we go again. Alright, defense. Here we go. Big stop. Big stop. Let's go. Now second and goal, Russell Wilson, what are you doing? He's in Super Bowl champs! In case you've been living under a rock for the past week, the Patriots have won the Super Bowl. Wow, it feels good saying that. But what comes with being the undisputed champs is fake fans. Kenny and I asked you how many players you can name that are on the current team without messing up. Yes, I'm ready. Chandler Jones, Darrell Rivas, Rob Ninkovich, Rob Gronkowski, Danny Amendola, Julian Edelman, Tom Brady, Stephen Ridley, LeGarrette Blunt, uh, Vince Wilfork, um, 
Who else? Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> Nate Ebner, Tom Brady, Vince Wilfork, Brandon Browner, Darrell Rivas, uh, Jojo LaFell. Is that all right, Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, LeGarrette Blunt, Rob, no Rob Ninkovich, um, Stephen Ridley, Julian Edelman, Brandon LaFell, um, Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tom Brady, uh, Rob Gronkowski, uh, Stephen Goskowski, um, Chandler Jones, um, I don't know, what's the fat guy's name? <laughs> Vince Wilfork! <laughs> Tom Brady, uh, Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman, da Danny Amendola, uh, Ninkovich, Ninkovich, uh, Vince uh, Wilfork, Rob Ninkovich, Vince, Vince Wilfork, um, ah, crap, uh, yo. Okay, um, Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman, um, Tom Brady, Vince Wilfork, um, LeGarrette Le Blount, Blount, <laughs> um, Jarrell, Jarrell Rebus, is that one? A deflated football. Tom Brady, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jonas Gray, Stephen Ridley, Shane Vereen, Brandon LaFell, Julian Edelman, Rob Gronkowski, Tim Wright, uh, Brian Stork, uh, Darrell Rebus, Brandon Browner, uh, Vince Wilfork, Well, that's a wrap on this story. Hopefully the Patriots can get back to the Super Bowl again next year and make it two in a row. In the meantime, go Sox. This is Kenny and Kyle signing out. On Wednesday, the Patriots Championship Parade was held in Boston celebrating the New England success. One of Cunnett's students sacrificed school on Wednesday to watch their team march down from the Prudential Tower on Boylston Street to City Hall Plaza. I would like to see the yaks from the parade. Yaks? Yeah, from Yik Yak, that new app. Oh, I haven't heard of it. Well, it's kind of like Twitter, but anonymous, based on location. <laughs> Some even give really expressive WHTV reviews. And on further news on this new app, Jordan and Henri have a story. Let's check it out. Jordan and Henri here for WHTV. Yik Yak is the newest social media fad that is sweeping college campuses all over the nation. But it has also become popular with students around when it cut it. But what really is Yik Yak? It's kind of an interesting uh, app. It's very expressive. To be honest, it's just like something to entertain my time. It's cool. I like it. Yik Yak is a social media app founded in 2013 by Brooks Buffington and Tyler Droll. It allows users to post anonymously on a feed that is based on your current location. Yaks receive upvotes and downvotes. All for chicken nuggets. And if the yak receives five downvotes, it is deleted from the feed. WHTV gets worse and worse every week. That was pretty cool, Jordan. Hey, thanks, man. But you know what's never cool? What? Bullying, especially on Yik Yak. Unfortunately, there is also a dark side of Yik Yak. Because of the anonymous aspect, Yik Yak can be used for bullying and as a result has been banned from many high schools. Yeah, there's been like a lot of bullying on Yik Yak. Uh, it's not that cool. Well, yeah, because people just talk bad about each other on it because it's anonymous and they can't say it to people's faces. Be careful what you yak. Some yaks can really be painful. Well, Winter Kunnet, kind of, that's all we have for you today. We hope you learned something about Yik Yak, about bullying, and about yourselves. So give WHTV an upvote and check us out next week. Keep yakking. Well, when it comes to it, that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to yak about WHTV. Thanks for watching and make sure to enjoy the snow. I'm Kayla Wershniak. And I'm Emily Drant, signing out.